It's a brand new shiny year, 2024, and we are going to tell you the probably the most important thing you can do if you want a New Year's resolution. We got a suggestion. Let's go down that road. New Year. <laughs> Boy, those are loud. <laughs> Hello, faithful people. I'm Marlene. And I'm Gary. And I'm Bob. And I'm Bob Jr. Happy New Year. Really? Hi, Happy New Year. <laughs> happy 2024. Oh my gosh. What a year 23 was, and we're just going <laughs> to zip right into 24 <laughs> now. And this is going to be a really quick video. We have some things that we're going to be talking about in future videos about organization and uh, some things to eliminate paper clutter and some other things that we're trying different this year that we haven't done before. So with all the resolutions that people make, you rarely hear anybody do this one. And if they would do this one thing, the rest of the resolutions and the rest of their year and the rest of their lives would probably be a little bit smoother. So here's our most advised New Year's resolution. Our resolution or recommend our recommendation for a resolution for any new year is to uh, get back into a regular use of God's Word in private devotion, in your private readings, and in, and in a regular life of prayer. First of all, you know, a lot of people think that they, what they hear in church is what the Bible says because they're hearing it in church. Not necessarily. So it's always a good thing to be questioning and to be double checking and to just look for yourself. What does God say about this? Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. One of them, of course, is by reading, is by reading the Bible itself just from cover to cover or pick a book any of the books in the in there and just start reading another way to do it i have this one it was called, i got it on amazon for like a less than two dollars it's called 199 favorite bible verses for women i don't know why they're specifically for women they could be for anybody but they're they're uh they go by um topics and those are my favorite ones i have a couple of them this one is on having faith and it's got different bible passages for that it's all bible passages this one's on courage this one is on strength which we don't get from ourselves we get that all from god another one is called this one's called my little book of promises i got this as a gift and again it has hope humility perseverance. It's just got all Bible verses that pertain to those things. So if you want to look up a specific topic, you just can use one of these. And the one, I have another one that is so worn out that the pages are falling out of it. And I've been using that one for years too. So if you just want a quick five minutes a day, just five minutes a day, and you're going to notice a huge revelation of things that you probably have missed before because you didn't find them yourself or look for them in the Bible. So if you don't have a Bible, they have different apps on, on your phone you can probably get. Uh, my favorite is Bible Gateway. Bible Gateway. And another one that a lot of my friends use is YouVersion. Y-O-U-V-E-R-S-I-O-N. YouVersion. And that's another possibility. There's other Bible apps. You mentioned one. One I looked at somewhat is uh, Bible Hub, Bible Hub, H-U-B. So those are the ways to get started. Now, what if you don't have a smartphone? What if you don't have a Bible? Well, you know what? They can go to Half Price Books. They have Bibles there. You can go to the library. Pretty sure they have them in public oh, yeah. libraries. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so far they haven't taken them out. Hmm. Um, go, to the, go to a hotel and ask if you can have <laughs> <laughs> from one of the Gideon's Bibles. They always used to have them in, in hotels. Um, or go to a church. Go to a church and just ask, you know, I, could I have a Bible? And I, I don't know of any church that's going to turn that away. So there's, there's lots of opportunities to be able to look into God's Word. We pray that 
God will bless you in this new year, and we trust that there will be many reasons to give thanks. The struggles may be more than we can handle, uh, often are, but God's grace is more than is sufficient to carry us through them. Uh, we pray that God will bless you with his grace, uh, always, and through his word that you will be strengthened and blessed in faith and life. What, what are your New Year's resolutions? What kinds of things do you try to focus in on during the year? Um, you know, a lot of people say exercise. Well, go for a walk. You know, it doesn't have to be a complicated gym type thing. Just go for a walk every day for 10, 15 minutes. Or so. Or so. <laughs> um, if you can't walk, sit in a chair and do some stretches and things like that. We have something here at the RV park that is uh, chair yoga. We're doing it two days a week for an hour. And that's been a lot of really good stretches that are, that are really helpful. They're talking about starting a line dancing here too. I surely hope they do. I know one person who's just dying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Eating better, you know, start with just adding a salad every day, a lettuce salad every day without the croutons. <laughs> <laughs> just start with a lettuce salad every day, one meal a day. Um, have that as a side thing. That's a good start. All right, we've got lots more ideas coming. And we're going to be exploring more of Corpus Christi. So tune in. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe down below by hitting that red button. Next to it, a bell is going to pop up. Ring the bell and you'll be notified every time new videos come up. Check out our Facebook page. And until next time, God bless, God bless and Happy New Year.